Yo, what's up, people? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Tiario, and I am back, y'all, with another video and also another eye-opening message. And um, I don't even know if I have already done a message like this before because I have so many messages. It's just ridiculous. But in this message right here, I'm going to be talking about it's the little things that count. It's the little things that count. A lot of you people may say, Tiario, what do you mean by it's the little things that count? I'm going to say this. Jesus made a statement in the Bible. And Jesus said that if you are faithful over the little, I will make you faithful over much. A lot of you folks have read that and a lot of and a lot of you people have it. But I'm going to repeat it. Jesus said that if you are faithful over the little, he will make you faithful over much. And a lot of people, they just don't get it when, when it comes to this kind of message right here. It's the little things that count. You want to know why a lot of people, y'all, will never be blessed people. They will never be anointed. They will never be able to reach people. They will never be able to have an effect on someone's life. They will never be able to draw somebody to Christ. They will never be able to open up your eyes to the truth. And they will never be able to help you. Because they are not... Focusing on the little things in their lives. It's the little things that matters, man. And that's what you got to look at. It's the little things. I'm going to give you people some examples on little things. A lot of you people out there may be asking God to bless you, you know, with a car. Okay. And I'm not talking about a car that you're paying notes on. Hear me clearly. Hear me clearly. I'm not talking about a car that you are paying notes on. Because if you are paying notes on a car, you got to understand something. You're kind of crazy. Okay? Because that's that's just designed to put you in debt. Okay? A lot of you people may be praying to God and asking God to bless you with a car that you own. To whereas you don't have to worry about paying notes. You don't got to worry about paying notes. Okay? Because you got to understand something about cars. If you can't keep up the note, they're just going to put it out for repo and you can go to jail for it. They're going to make you look bad in, in front of the courthouse and they're going to do you dirty. OK, so it's best to get a car that you own. Now, watch this. The reason why a lot of people, y'all, can't get that that car that they're asking God for to own. Because they can't keep up the one that they have now. Got to understand that it's the little things that count. Here it is. How can God bless you with a nice car that you own and it's yours and it's in your name when yet the old car you have is a mess? How can God trust you with something new when you can't even take care of the old? How can he do it? How can he do it? It's the little things. It's the little things, y'all. I'm going to be real with you. I see people, y'all, out in the streets. I be riding to the store and stuff, and I will literally see people, vehicles so dirty, it's a shame. And I say to myself, they need to go clean that car and rinse it and wash it. And the car would be a nice looking car, but it would be filthy. A nasty looking car. Dirty, tires all dirty. The car is nasty. And here it is. They wondering why they can't get ahead in life. You want to know why they can't get ahead in life? Because it's the little things that counts, man. How can God bless you with a lot when you can't even take care of the little that he gave you? You got to understand why God gave you the little. He gave you the little to test you. A lot of you people right now may be in a little apartment. But hear me clearly. That don't mean you poor. That don't mean you in poverty. That don't mean you're struggling. Check this out. That little apartment is your test. It's your test, man. You better hear me clearly. God is speaking to you right now. That's your test. That little apartment that you're in, that's your test. How can God open up the door 
to give you a nice looking apartment or a nice looking condominium when yet the little apartment you're in you won't even keep that clean you are cursing yourself because you don't know how to take care of the little things now you see what i'm saying a lot of you folks right now your house is a mess your house is nasty your room is nasty. Your closet is trashy. And you're talking about you're walking with God. You need to be smacked with a Bible. Okay? That's nasty. You need, you need to clean up your home. Clean up your closet. And a lot of you people, you, you need to clean up yourself. You're nasty. That's nasty. And here it is, man. Here it is. That's your test. Because that's the little things that God is looking at. If, here it is. If you can't keep up a small apartment, you will never get a house. Because you're not faithful over the little things. And God said, if you are faithful over the little, I will make you faithful over much. Come on, man. Let's keep it all the way real. Come on now. You folks know I'm telling the truth. A lot of people don't want to hear this message because they just want to live like slobs. Well, guess what? You can continue to live like a slob. If you don't want to keep your car clean, don't do it. If you don't want to keep your house clean, don't do it. But guess what? You're cursing yourself and you will never be able to have real favor over your life. Because you can't even keep up the little things that God gave you. That's the truth. That's the truth, man. That's the truth. That's the truth. It's the little things that count, y'all, that God looks at the most. Seriously. It's the little things. A lot of you people have children and, 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 and a lot of you people pray to God to bless your kids that your children walk with God. How in the hell can your kids walk with God when you don't even want to whoop their ass and discipline them when they're wrong? It's the little things, folks. It's the little things. How can your children walk with God in the future when they grow up when you letting them get away with everything in the house? Think about it for a minute. That ain't going to work. God cannot fix that. Because you're not doing your part. It's the little things that count, man. It's the little things. Here it is. I got to say it. A lot of you brothers be wondering why these women don't be giving you no act right. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. How can you expect this woman to give you some act right, brother, when here it is? You don't even do the little things to make her day. You don't even tell that woman she beautiful. Don't get me started on you dudes, man. Don't get me started on you dudes. And you dudes wondering why your woman don't want you no more. And you dudes wondering why your woman don't want to give you no act right. Here it is, man. Come on, brothers. Let's keep it real. If you want your woman to treat you right, if, if you want your woman to be down for you, you got to tell that woman she's beautiful. You got to tell her she's sexy. You got to tell her she got some sexy ass lips. You got to tell that woman, man, you just want to make love to her, man, and make her say your name all night long. See what I'm saying? It's the little things that count. How can you expect this woman to be down for you and loyal to you, but yet you're not doing your job, man? Come on, brothers. A relationship is a job. It ain't, it ain't no game you play. It's a job. It's a job. You got to do your part. It's the little things that count, man. Here it is. How can you expect your woman to give you act right when you don't even want to compliment her on her beauty? The woman probably, here it is, the woman is really probably sexy and fine. She probably, she probably the bomb. But you don't even want to compliment her on that. That's crazy. And I'm not talking about her, and here it is, I'm not talking about compliment her just to get some sex. I'm talking about really meaning that stuff from your heart, man. Like for real, I ain't just talking about saying words. I'm talking about cherishing this woman from the bottom of your soul, man. It's the little things that count. And you women out there, you wondering why these men only want you for sex. I gotta say it. You women out there wondering why these men only want you for sex. You're not doing the little things. You gotta support that man, man. You gotta support the brothers. Here it is. If you want a good brother, you gotta be down for him. You gotta support him. That's the truth, man. That's just realistically facts. That's the truth, man. If you want a brother who down for you, you got to support that brother. It's the little things that count, man. You got to be there for him. You got to love him from your spirit and from your soul, man. It can't, it can't be about pleasing your crazy feelings and emotions. It can't be about all this arguing and nagging. 
You got to really, really love from your heart, man. It's the little things that count. And y'all, it's so crazy. So many people are cursed with a curse because they don't know how to focus on the little things. And they're wondering why they will never get the big things. It's the little stuff that matters, man. Seriously, you people be wanting God to do all these miracles for y'all and y'all can't even do the little things like stop smoking, stop drinking, stop hanging out at the club, stop hanging out with the wrong friends. Come on, man. You want God to bless your life, but you, you, you here it is. You want God to favor you and bless your life, but you don't even want to do the little things like cut off friends who don't mean you no good. Come on, man. You can't do that. That's, that, that's little stuff. So how can God really just put favor on your soul when you haven't done the little things? This is what's real. A lot of you people don't even want to give up your life to follow Jesus. But yeah, you want Jesus to bless you though. It's the little things that matter to God. That little stuff is real. And you folks better start paying attention to the little things in your life. Those little things can cause big problems. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Those little things in your life that you're not paying attention to, they can cause big problems. They really, really can. They really, really can, man. The little things in your life that you're not paying close attention to, they can cause big problems. So many people, y'all, cheat in relationships because of the little things. The woman not giving the guy enough attention or the guy not giving the woman enough attention so eventually she finds another man who will we know the game let's keep it real man let's keep it real the reason why people don't want to be a part of christianity is because preachers can't even focus on the little things is just telling you the truth that's why you people don't want to be bothered with the with the clown religion that it is because the damn psychopathic pagan preachers can't even do the little things and just tell you the truth and be honest with you so so of course you're gonna roll out <laughs> it's the little things man that counts it's the truth the little things man the little things it's so sad because there are a lot of people right now who feel hurt that their parents didn't love them because of the little things that their parents didn't do for them the mama took her daughter for granted the daddy took his son for granted the mama took her son for granted and she didn't even tell her son she loved him she really didn't spend time with him you know, and it's the little things, man. And, and I got to say this right quick, man. I got to say this. A lot of you people out there, man, who are teenagers who are listening to this stuff, man, your parents have already lost you as a daughter and a son. Like, a lot of you people don't even have deep relationships with your own parents, man. I'm, I'm keeping it real. I, I, I know it hurts, but it's the truth, man, because your parents can't even do the little things in your life. A lot of you kids are hurting. I've been there. I've been there, man. I've been there, man. I've been there. It's real, man. I know it hurts. Your parents can't even do the little things in your life. Just give you some attention. Your mama focusing on the next man. And your daddy focusing on the next woman. Or your mom and your daddy just in their own world. And it's the little things that your parents is doing to you that's hurting you. It's the little things, man. I'm telling y'all that that little stuff is powerful. It's powerful. It can really, really destroy your soul and mess you up, man, if you don't pay attention to it. It's the little things that count, man. Seriously. I'm just being honest, y'all. People send me messages, man, and people be saying stuff like, Tiario, hey, how you doing? I'm just checking in on you. And I ain't gonna lie, when I read that stuff, it makes my day. You want to know why? Because I get so much hate. I'm accustomed to hate. Because people hate me so much, I don't even be expecting people to just send me a message saying, Hey, Tiario, I love you, brother. Uh, um, and I just was um, emailing you to just say, Hey, they're not emailing me to try to use me for Bible information and all this stuff. They're just emailing me saying, Hey, it's the little things that count, man. It's the little things. And I message them back and tell them thank you. Because it's the little things that counts, man. Seriously. It's the little things, man. And a lot of you folks, man, have messed up your lives because you was not focusing on the little things. So you was worrying about all that big stuff. But let me tell you about that big stuff. The big stuff is not the stuff to focus on because you will never get the big stuff if you're not passing the test with the little stuff. So you should just get your mind off the big house and focus on the apartment you're in. You got to be faithful in your apartment. But here it is. You got to be faithful in your apartment before God can bless you with a home. That's the truth, man. 
how can God bless you with a home if you're not faithful in your apartment? A lot of you folks right now are in little apartments. You probably got a messed up used car, but that don't mean you're struggling. That don't mean you poor. That don't mean you in poverty. You're being tested. God allow you to have that little car because he's testing you. He's testing you to see if you're going to be faithful with that little car. Keep that little car clean. Keep it clean. If you are in a little apartment, keep it clean. Because watch this. God is watching you. And God is watching all of the days and months and years that you are keeping it clean. And you know what God is going to do? He's going to say, he paid his dues. She paid her dues. Now it's time for me to do the miracle. That's how God works, man. You got to pass the test first. It's the little things that count. Let me people, here, here it is. And let me tell you people something. You listening to a brother who come from nothing. I ain't have a call. I ain't have a job. I didn't have no money. I ain't have nothing but faith. Faith in Christ. Had a relationship with Jesus. That was it. Dropped out of school, everything. Gave it all up. I was faithful with the little that, I, that God gave me in my life. And after God saw that I was faithful with the little, God have been doing nothing but miracles for me ever since. I was 18. Ever since. Faithful with the little, man. Faithful with the little. I kept my room clean. I dust, I vacuum, took out the trash. Helped my mama. Full clothes, washed clothes, washed dishes. I did it all. I did it all, man. Oh, yes. I did it all. Because I was being tested. You got to be faithful over the little, man. See what I'm saying? This is what's real, man. And for all of you people out there, I'm going to keep it real with you. I lived in a mini apartment. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. And here it is. I'm not afraid to admit it. You want to know why? Because none of us was born rich. We got to start just keeping it real, man. None of us was born rich. Come on, let's keep it real. None of us was born rich. I lived in a little apartment because that was my test. Kept that apartment up. Kept it up. Then God moved me to a bigger one. Then he moved me to a bigger space. That's how God operates, man. I remember when I didn't have a car. Watch this. I remember when I didn't have a car years ago. And I used to catch the bus to go do the will of God. Y'all folks ain't ready for my story. I'm telling you. I, I, I've been through it all. I remember when I didn't have a car. And I was living in New Orleans with my mama. And I used to catch the bus to people's houses. And go knock on their doors. And preach to them and do the will of God. I was on the bus. Oh, yes. I was on the bus. Didn't even have a car. You want to know why? Because God was testing me to see if I was going to be faithful over the little that I had. And I still got the will of God done for my life. That's what's real, man. And I'm telling you folks, this information to help you. You got to start being faithful over the little. If you don't have a car, get your ass on that bus. You know what I'm saying? And do what you got to do for God. Pay your dues, man. Pass the test. Pass the test, man. That's the only way you're going to be grateful and, and, and really, really blessed in faith. But pass your test. Stop worrying about what everybody else got and focus on you passing your own test, man. I've been there. I ain't have nothing. Man, you, man I'm telling you, folks, you are listening to a dude who come from the street. Come on, man. I've been there. Focus on your own life. And see, that's the problem with so many followers of God today. They're focusing on everybody else but themselves. And that's why you can't focus on the little in your life because you're too busy worrying about what the next person got. You got to pass your own test and go down your own journey, man. Pass your test. Be faithful over the little so God can give you the great things, man. I had to just hit y'all with this message, man, because Jesus was speaking this to me. And this is just some truth, man. Seriously. You know what you got to do. Stop worrying about everybody else. Stop worrying about who that woman with and who that man with. Focus on you being faithful to God. Focus on the little that he gave you, man, so he can get you to the next level of your life. So with all that being said, I love you people, man. Y'all know I love y'all, but y'all know I got to tell y'all the truth. I have nothing but love for you folks, but y'all know I don't play when it comes to this truth, man. Seriously, I love you people, man, and I really want to see you people go higher in God, man. This ain't no game, man, because I already know everybody ain't teaching truth, man. Everybody playing games, man. Sad. But with all that being said, y'all, I got to roll out and take care of business, man. I love you people, man, and y'all know what y'all got to do. Peace.